All right, I wanted to share this Trasco with you guys. Uh, this is more of a dress watch. And I think this is the first dress watch I have on the channel. Most of the watches we review on this channel are uh, sports watches, uh, just because of the nature and uh, my preference of them, just because of the water resistance and all that. But this is actually a dress watch that can uh, has a lot of features and can take a beating. So let's quickly get into the specs of the watch. I'll give you guys my thoughts and experience because I've owned this for a while since it came out. And uh, I'll tell you guys if I recommend this watch. So what we have here is a 36 millimeter K size. We have a thickness of 11.3 millimeters and that's to the top of that boxed sapphire crystal. We have a lug to lug here of 44 millimeters and a lug width of 20 millimeters. We have a sapphire crystal up top with AR coating. And like I said, it's kind of like a top hat crystal. We have a screw down crown, which gives us 100 meters of water resistance for this watch. And inside there is the Miyota 9019. So this does have hacking and hand winding. Second hand stops there. Very nice winding action there. And it is signed there with the, I guess it's a flower or some type of um, symbol there. And it screws back in really nicely and it's easy to grip. Uh, and it helps that it doesn't have any crown guards, but it's, it, goes, it goes in nicely. We have solid end links, solid links, individual art articulating links here. So it works very comfortably. We have a solid milled clasp. Uh, and as you can see there, they do some type of knurling on there. So it's kind of nice design, very secure feeling. We have four micro adjustments there, signed there with their logo again. Very nicely done. The brushing is nice as well. This is their, uh, their Glacier White, I believe they're calling it. And there is uh, Luminova all over the indices and hands. Uh, not on the second hands though. And you have the six o'clock date window that matches the white dial there. So very nicely done. Let me show you guys what it looks like on a seven inch wrist for reference. And as you can see there, it doesn't look too small. Uh, 36 is probably my limit. And the only reason why I picked up this one in particular with the 36, uh, 36 millimeter size is because it has a 20 uh, millimeter bracelet. Anything below a 20 millimeter bracelet to me, uh, it just wears a little too small for my liking. So, but this works perfectly. I wear this watch a lot uh, occasionally. So this is more of my dress piece. So anytime I kind of want to dress up a little bit, uh, this goes on the wrist and actually wears very nicely. And the articulating uh, links just make it melt on the wrist, wears low uh, and it has that high high sapphire crystal, but it still wears, wears very nicely. Small enough to where I forget that I'm wearing a watch. No hot spots, no digging of the crown. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, these are currently sold out on the Trasco website. Uh, you can pick them up on a uh, third party uh, website and you can usually find them anywhere from $500 somewhere around that range so four or five uh, sometimes 600 bucks just depends on on the watch and the condition and the seller right uh, but they're usually hovering around the 500 dollars used uh, new from trasca you pick these up for around 565 dollars i think was their list price and they sold out very quickly when they first came out i, I was able to pick one up and uh you know what i'm actually very surprised on everything that this little watch offers uh, i knew it was going to be uh, of on paper of uh, a feature packed watch but i didn't think it was going to be this good uh, i'm going to show you guys here the brushing on this watch is phenomenal second to none it's very uniform very fine uh, brushing there and like i said there are artic individual articulating links so it wears very nicely. You'll see the brushing on the clasp as well. It's very fine 
there you can't you can almost not even see like graininess on there from the from the brushing that's how good it is they also do a coating on this and as you can see there is no scratches on the bracelet at all and like i said I, I, although i've worn this occasion on occasions uh, i still have worn this watch and i've owned it since they first came out and i don't see any scratches on this whatsoever which is kind of crazy uh, they do have i forgot to mention the drilled lugs so it makes it easier for uh, strap changes and like i said too what i liked about this watch was it's a smaller size so it kind of breaks away from all my regular 42 uh, millimeter and up divers. Uh, this is a nice change when I wear it. It's a lot smaller than all of those and it's just a different feel. And, and I love how it's still robust enough with that hard coating and the 100 meters of water resistance screw down crown that it's gonna be able to take a beating. Uh, I just have kids, I have a, a big dog. Uh, things get knocked around, water gets spilled. I, I like the extra uh, toughness of something like this. And when it's available on a dress watch, I kind of jump on it because this is not too um, common. Usually dress watches have 50 meters of water resistance, no screw down crown. It's just something that in the back of my head as a, as a watch geek, uh, just kind of lets me sleep better at night knowing that I have all these little features. The loom I'll show you guys in a bit, it's great. Um, I actually like the distortion that you get from the side view, but I have to tell you guys one of the things I kind of don't like, and as you can tell here, is that that actual sapphire crystal will distort your uh, minute hash marks. So you can't really tell sometimes the time to the minute. I mean, you can kind of guess, right? But it, it distorts it too much. Uh, I think the top hat crystal for the next version should be a little bit more at a 90 degree angle. I think this is I think from the inside, I think it's a little bit curved too much. So it, it gives that, like I said, it gives that distortion around the minute track mark. So it, it, you can't really tell sometimes what, what the minute, where the minutes uh, hashes are, but it's, it's not a big deal to me. I can still read the date. I can still get the big, the applied indices there. So it's actually very nicely done too. Uh, another little gripe personally, but this is just my, um, my preference as well is they calling it a glacier white but it has kind of like a pearl tone to it i'm trying to move it around a lot so you can see the different kind of colors that kind of pop up it's kind of like a pearl white so you get like pink hues sometimes a little bit of bluish a little bit of reddish uh, it's not complete like white white I have to say there is some type of pearl to it but it for the most part it does it, i mean it, it does wear as a white dial watch but like i said too sometimes if you can get it in the right light you get some red hues some purple hues some blue hues which some people like i just if i buy a white dial watch i want it flat white but that's just my opinion like i said too let me show you guys the loom on this watch i can't i can't specify i can't um stress enough how much i'm impressed by the Traska as a brand and what they offer, especially for the price point, you're talking a little bit over the $500 mark. And I think this thing can take a beating. Like I said, it's 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 a dress watch. So uh, I'm kind of thinking of maybe picking up a diver from them, but I'm not too sure as, I, as I'm kind of diver heavy right now. And I don't want to get rid of any of my divers. So it's not, it's not something that I plan to do. I just know that if I was to pick one up, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be disappointed because just by what I've seen on this guy here, I'm, I'm impressed. I actually do believe they're worth the $560 or $70 that they're asking for them. And I can kind of see why they kind of hold their value even as a, as a, as a resale used. Uh, these things, I, I can feel it, they, they can take a beating. And like you saw here with this example, there's no scratches whatsoever. I've worn it ever since they came out. I've, I've worn it occasionally. Granted, it's not a daily watch but there's no scratches whatsoever. So I know their, their coating or their hardness uh, process works. Uh, usually by this time, I'll have at least a hairline scratch, at least on the, uh, on the buckle or, or on the clasp, I mean, sorry. And there's nothing there. Uh, another, another heavy wear for me is on the outside on, on the 12 o'clock position of the uh, bracelet and there's nothing there. So 
I just charged it up really quickly for the for the loom with the uh, light. So let me turn off the lights here to show you guys what I mean. And as you can see there, it's a dress watch, but you can clearly tell what time it is. Uh, it's very bright. It can last you all night. It's not Seiko Luma bright, but it does a job and it does it really well, especially for a dress watch. So again, this is why no complaints, nothing but praises for this Traska um, dress watch here. And uh, I kind of think I might pick another one up. Let me know what you guys think of this brand. If you guys have one of these, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys on the next one.